the day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Saturday, March 5, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Sacramento Kings vs Dallas Mavericks The Sacramento Kings and Dallas Mavericks meet Saturday in NBA action at the American Airlines Center. The Sacramento Kings need a win after losing five of their last seven games. The Dallas Mavericks look for a win after winning five of their last six games. Our first pick is Dallas minus 7.5 points. And here is why. The Sacramento Kings have been bad this season as they are 24 to 41 so far. They are being led by point guard Darren Fox so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 115-112 road win over the San Antonio Spurs. The biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed 64 points inside of the paint. This line would be 10 if Doncic didn't have a toe sprain. Doncic missed three weeks due to an ankle sprain, and the Mavs are 21-7 since he returned. The good news is that they have Jalen Brunson and Spencer Dinwiddie, both point guards or combo guards, who can take pressure off Luka if needs to play lesser minutes. The Kings did a nice job beating the Spurs as a 6.5 point dog on Thursday, but they have been on the road forever. This will be the fourth game in eight days on the road and the eighth road game since February 12. That's a lot of time on the road and it will wear them down in this one. Take the Mavs to cover. And our second pick is under the total. And here is why. The Sacramento Kings are averaging 110 points on 45.7% shooting and allowing 115.1 points on 47.8% shooting. Darren Fox is averaging 22 points and 3.8 rebounds, while DeMantis Sabanis is averaging 18.1 points and 13.3 rebounds. The Dallas Mavericks are averaging 107 points on 45.8% shooting and allowing 103.6 points on 45.7% shooting. Luka Doncic is averaging 27.5 points and 8.8 .8 assists, while Jalen Brunson is averaging 16.1 points and 3.7 rebounds. San Antonio Spurs vs Charlotte Hornets The San Antonio Spurs and Charlotte Hornets meet Saturday in NBA action at the Spectrum Center. The San Antonio Spurs look to snap a three-game losing streak. The Charlotte Hornets need a win after losing 11 of their last 14 games. Our first pick is San Antonio Spurs plus 3.5 points. And here is why. San Antonio was outscored by 10 in the second quarter and could not come back but were led by Lonnie Walker who dropped 30. Dejant Murray, meanwhile, had 29 points and 12 rebounds, while Jacob Popel chipped in with 16 points. Charlotte played well from start to finish against the Cavaliers and were backed by Terry Rozier, who had 29 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Kelly Uber Jr. who had 19 points off the bench while Miles Bridges had 15. The Charlotte Hornets have been rough over the last month or so, and they're not a team I'm thrilled to back in the favorite role. The San Antonio Spurs play their best ball on the road, where they lose by an average of just 0.8 points, and they're 18-14 won against the spread. I need more consistency from the Hornets before I can trust them in the favorite role. And our second pick is over the total and here is why. The San Antonio Spurs are averaging 112.7 points on 46.8% shooting and allowing 112.8 points on 46.8% shooting. Dejant Murray is averaging 20.1 points and 8.3 rebounds, while Keldon Johnson is averaging 15.9 points and 1.8 assists. Jacob Poltle is the third double-digit scorer, and Doug McDermott is dishing 1.3 assists. The Charlotte Hornets are averaging 114.1 points on 45.8% shooting and allowing 114.5 points on 46.2% shooting. Lamelo Ball is averaging 19.9 points and 7.4 assists, while Miles Bridges is averaging 19.8 points and 7.2 rebounds. Terry Rozier is the third double-digit scorer, and Kelly Uber Jr. is dishing 1.2 assists. Orlando Magic vs Memphis Grizzlies The Orlando Magic and Memphis Grizzlies meet Saturday in NBA action at the FedEx Forum. The Orlando Magic need a win after losing five of their last eight games. The Memphis Grizzlies look for a win after splitting their last six games. Our first pick is 
Memphis Grizzlies minus 15.5 points and here is why. Orlando suffered a 122-114 loss to the Indiana Pacers on Wednesday in a game they were outscored 34-19 in the fourth. In the game, they were led by Franz Wagner who had 28 points, while Mo Bamba had 19. Memphis suffered a 120-107 loss to the Celtics, but did see a key performance from John ja Morant who had 38 points, 7 assists, and 4 rebounds. Jaron Jackson Jr. dropped 20, while Desmond Bain had 17. This season, to no surprise, the Grizzlies have been led by John ja Morant who's averaging Morant who's averaging 27.8 ppg, while Bain is averaging 17.5, and Jackson Jr. is chipping in with 16.5 ppg. The Magic have been led by Cole Anthony who is averaging 17.4 ppg, while Wagner is chipping in with 15.7 and Wendell Carter Jr. is adding 14.3 points The Orlando Magic are on the end of a back-to-back -back and have had issues stringing together good performances. The Memphis Grizzlies continue to pile up the victories and the covers, as they're 19-12 against the spread at home and 42-22 against the spread on the season. Thick number, but the trends on the Grizzlies' side don't lie. And our second pick is over the total. The Orlando Magic are averaging 104 points on 43.5% shooting and allowing 112 points on 46% shooting. Cole Anthony is averaging 17.4 points and 5.7 rebounds, while Franz Wagner is averaging 15.7 points and 4.6 rebounds. Wendell Carter Jr. is the third double-digit scorer and Jalen Suggs is grabbing 3.7 rebounds. The Orlando Magic are shooting 33% from beyond the arc and 78.7% from the free-throw line. The Orlando Magic are allowing 36.4% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.6 rebounds per game. The Memphis Grizzlies are averaging 113.8 points on 45.8% shooting and allowing 109.2 points on 45.2% shooting. Ja Morant is averaging 27.6 points and 6.6 assists, while Dylan Brooks is averaging 18.4 points and 3.3 rebounds. Desmond Bain is the third double-digit scorer and Jaron Jackson Jr. is dishing 1.1 assists. The Memphis Grizzlies are shooting 34.1% from beyond the arc and 73.3% from the free-throw line. The Memphis Grizzlies are allowing 35.4% shooting from deep and are grabbing 49.2 rebounds per game. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.